Everybody, welcome back to Video Game Esoteric and a continuing series on the Mr. FPGA DE10 Nano Project. And it is time for the January news recap because there's a lot of fun stuff going on with Mr. Maybe January was slightly slower of a month than December, but there's still a lot of awesome things coming in 2022, and January is going to kick that off. And I am super excited for all the fun things that are going to be happening. Before we get too far involved, though, do me a huge favor go down below, hit like, subscribe, that notification bell definitely helps us out. If you feel so inclined and want to support the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But right off the top, there have been massive improvements to the Sharp X68000 core. It is not finished, but it is so good. I did a video on it last week showing you guys how to set the entire thing up, and I absolutely love this. If you've been holding off trying the Sharp X68000 core, definitely give it a go now because outside of original hardware, this is the best I've ever played the X68000 because emulating it in software on a PC is quite complex and it's probably more like an advanced level emulation but with that whole video i showed you guys how to set the entire thing up just check my playlist it was from last week but this core has gotten so many improvements and so many more games are running on it i honestly in my testing could not find a game that wasn't working and that's absolutely spectacular so as of you know actually late december but i'm doing this in january the x68000 core should be considered fully usable fully enjoyable and definitely one of the most impressive cores that's come out of mister in my opinion in the last few months but moving on to the arcade side jotego's got a lot of fun stuff coming in the pipeline and the last game that he released right before the holiday season was over was Robocop from Data East. And this is an absolutely fun game. And Hotego has a lot more games on the way too. But we're getting cores from Hotego all the time. And if you're a fan of Robocop or the 80s action movies, I absolutely love them. This is an awesome game. I would say this is as good as Robocop 2, a video that I did a couple months ago on Unported Playlist. So if you're not following what Hotego's doing, definitely check his Twitter out, maybe go to his Patreon, give him a couple bucks, you get all of these cores in beta before they come out for regular users of Mr. I think it's worth it, but that's up to you. But playing as Robocop is absolutely spectacular, and I love it. Now, one thing I did gloss over in the December news, and people asked me how I did not mention that, that is that Hotego is also working on Mortal Kombat. I know so many people love this game. It's the quintessential 90s fighting game that everyone remembers from arcades if they were not a Street Fighter player. But here's the thing. I just didn't mention it because I don't like Mortal Kombat. I'm fully admitting it. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below telling me I'm an idiot. I love what the game is trying to be, and as a kid I loved the gore and the fatalities, but honestly Mortal Kombat is a series that I haven't played since the 90s and I'm really not super into it, but for everyone who really is into Mortal Kombat, he is working on that core and hopefully it comes out shortly so you can get some classic Mortal Kombat action going on your mister. But Hotego has a lot of other stuff in the works, he's working on a lot of different things, and if you go on his Twitter you actually get to see a lot of fun content, like taking a look at the schematics for the different chips. This is a lot of how things on Mr. are made core-wise. You're going through schematics and seeing how each independent piece of silicon hooks up to one another so you're able to map that out. So it's always fun just to check out. And he is still working on the Neo Geo Pocket. Right now the CPU implementation and he said it's about 50% done. Obviously that's just one chip in the entire system, but it is going to be a big one. So we're getting closer to Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color on Mister, And I think that's going to be absolutely spectacular because the system has a lot of good hidden gems. Obviously, you know, Puzzle Bobble is not a hidden gem. Everybody knows it. But this is a system that not many people have experience with in North America. It did come out. It was a complete failure. It sold for maybe three months at retail. I remember seeing it once and not having any idea what it was back in the day. But we're shortly going to be able to play all of the Neo Geo Pocket and Neo Geo Pocket colors on the Mister, And that's one awesome handheld system extra that we're going to have to put up against stuff like Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Wonder Swan, Game Gear, and the like. Because this system has a lot of fun on it. You're getting Bust a Move, you're getting King of Fighters, and I showed a few videos from last month as well of different games. I am really excited about this one because one, Neo Geo Pocket hardware is not cheap. Two, there is no real good way to put the signal out to your television, so you're really playing on a small handheld. And three, the screen is not very good, so unless you hardware mod the handheld itself, it's really not an optimal way to play anymore. But with Mister, you're going to be getting stuff in this quality that you're seeing right here. Now, this is med defense. It's not ready to show on Mister yet. There is no core. But this is the quality that we're expecting. And I am really excited to play Beast Busters 
on the Neo Geo Pocket Core because I have played this game through from start to finish on a handheld and on emulation. It is a 100% hidden gem and it is coming very shortly and that is going to be so much fun. If you play one game on the Neo Geo Pocket Color when the core comes out, definitely make it Beastbusters. I love this entire franchise. Two light gun games and one Neo Geo Pocket Color action RPG. They're spectacular and you will have a ton of fun with it. But what about Sega Saturn? Honestly, since December, there's been no updates from Sergey or SRG320, but from what I've heard in the background, he's the type of maker that'll probably just not tell you what's happening until he releases a preview core that is relatively fully featured. But Saturn is still being worked on. Maybe it'll be next month, maybe it'll be in the summer, maybe it'll be 2023 before we're playing it, but it is still coming, and that's going to be really exciting because I love the Sega Saturn, but it was the third place console in a three console race back in the 90s, so I know a lot of people in the US, if they're not huge game collectors, may not own a Saturn and this is going to be your chance to check it out hopefully sometime soon. But moving on to the PlayStation 1 core, there have been some advancements and there was a core release towards the end of 2021 that did improve things and the sound processing for PlayStation 1 is coming, hopefully in the next month or so we'll have to wait and see. And the goal is still to get this running on one 128 megabyte stick of RAM, but right now some of the preview nightly cores are using that second stick as well to get some improvements. And I do like some of the frame rates that I'm seeing here and I'm expecting great things from this core because you'll see in something like Tekken, the frame rate has doubled. The frame rate in Tekken when I played it was slightly slow at around 30 to 33, so the fact that it's already running in the 60 mark is going to be super impressive. If you do want to beta test this core, get in on it quick and you're going to need that second stick of RAM, just like the one at the bottom, but honestly you can probably wait if you really don't want to beta test it. Now on a slightly different topic, but one that's talked about a lot, the actual Terrasic DE10 Nano board is becoming harder to find. DigiKey has none in stock, hopefully they'll have some next month according to their timeline, and Mauser also has none in stock, but they're expected to get some on January 28th. If you want a mister, if you want to get in on the community, if you want a second mister, buy it now. I hope this thing never gets scalped. I don't expect it to, but stock is getting lower with the whole chip shortage. So if you want a mister, now's your time to buy it wherever you want to. Now Trash Uncle, the Twitter user with the best photo of all time, also has some more fun filters out, including stuff like RF noise mask, because I don't know if you had to go to channel 4 when you were a kid to play your consoles but I did for a while and that RF look is going to be really fun to play around with but there's been updates to the shadow masks as well I absolutely love them I did a video on them a few weeks ago and I'll leave a link in the description below if I haven't forgotten already but definitely check out Trash Uncle's filters they're a ton of fun and they keep coming fast and furious now on a slightly different topic there's a guy named Pooh in Japan that did some work on the X68000 core before other people started working on it, and he's also worked on the PC98 core. He since transitioned to work on the FM Towns computer system. He doesn't update that often, but there are still a few Japanese computers out there that are getting worked on for Mr. and I'm super excited about that because I own an FM Towns Marty. I love the system, but let me tell you, one, they are not giving these things away, and two, they are not giving the games away for it. Even with an optical disc emulator, this is still probably like $1,400, $1,500 right here. So the concept that FM Towns is going to be playable on the Mr hopefully sometime in 2022 is awesome and from what I've heard that work on the FM Towns will also go towards making the PC98 core function better because that's another awesome Japanese computer system that you should check out and I didn't have time to capture footage but the PC88 core is available to pop on your mister I'll probably do a video about that in the future Obviously, the PlayStation 1 core is still what people really want to check out, but that's all the Mr. News I have for you guys this January. I'll have news in February as well and Mr. Videos and all sorts of other videos throughout the weeks. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Leave me a comment down below. Hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.